Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with a walkthrough of what I think is the easiest way of getting a gold medal in a mastery challenge. This is the first shrine. And the trick here that makes this so much easier, at least for me, is doing the wolf challenge and using the fire strike ability, sort of like a melee ability to get indirect kills. The ranged fire strike upgrade, the fire blazes in an arc in front of you, instantly setting enemies caught in the arc ablaze. And that's necessary because for this trial, in order to get the gold, you need to kill all the enemies using indirect kills. So that means you need to drop objects on their head, destroy oil pots to set fires, or use that fire strike ability when the enemy is very close to you, which I'll show in a couple minutes. But at the beginning here, I'm just shooting oil jars near the enemies so that they catch on fire and die from the fire, not from my arrow. Here's another one. I really love how the enemies kind of just stand right near the oil jars. <laughs> oh, and you can also drop things on their head, like I'm going to do right here. Boom. And I try to kill as many of the enemies as I can standing on this platform before I move to the next one. I don't have a particular route or pattern that I follow because the enemies do move around a bit. My strategy is just to look for enemies standing near oil jars and destroy them. And for enemies not standing near an oil jar, how I'm going to kill them is by activating the ranged fire strike ability when I'm very close to them. So that arc that shoots out will light them on fire. So I'm almost using the ranged fire strike like a melee ability. And I'm going to demonstrate that right here. I'm going to walk across the rope. And when I'm very close to the enemy, I'm going to use the ranged fire strike. And that fire, that arc that shot out, lit him on fire, and now he's dead. However, there is a cooldown. So even though I have an adrenaline bar left, I can't use the ranged fire strike again. So I need to kill more enemies near the oil pots until my range fire strike comes off cooldown and then I can use it again. And I will need to eat some mushrooms to get my adrenaline back after I used it there. But luckily there was mushrooms right there. And now I'm just waiting for the cooldown on the fire strike before I can use it again while looking around for more enemies under <laughs> standing conveniently under something I can drop on their head. And now I can use fire strike again, range fire strike. Whee! And he fell off. And I'm looting the dead bodies because sometimes you can get food. Sometimes you can get rations from the enemies you've killed. And I'm at half, half health here, so I'm going to have to try to get some rations. The arrows that Eivor's getting hit with don't do very much damage, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about getting killed as long as you're not getting hit constantly. Just take your time. Look for enemies standing near oil jars, and if they're not near an oil jar, like this one, use the ranged fire strike, like I'm going to do right here. Oh, I'm out of adrenaline. Oops. <laughs> I need to go eat some mushrooms, get my adrenaline back. Oh, there's another mushroom. I can use... The ability to kill him. And I'm going to try to get this other guy to come near that pot. Yes, there I go. 
more enemies standing near oil jars that I can take down. And there's no time limit on this trial or on any of the trials. So you can take your time and make sure you do it right. The key thing though is don't shoot the enemies directly with your arrow. If you want to get gold, you need indirect kills. Technically, you could shoot the enemy. Oh, here again, I'm using Fire Strike, and he's standing right near Mushroom so I can refill my adrenaline. Technically, you can get an indirect kill by shooting an enemy in the foot with your fire arrow and set him on fire, and he will die from the fire, not from your arrow. But I don't even want to take a chance that I'm going to hit him in a weak point and he'll die from my arrow. So my strategy is not to shoot the enemies at all and only shoot the oil jars or use the ranged fire strike, which, by the way, you activate by using the left trigger and A button on Xbox. The abilities weapons and armor are all pre-assigned in these trials, so you can't change anything. So right trigger, I'm sorry, left trigger, A button to activate it. Now I'm waiting for a cooldown, and this guy tries to come up from behind me, but I just run away because he's got a bow. All the enemies on this level are archers. None of them have melee weapons, so if they get too close to you, just run away. And as I mentioned before, the arrows don't do very much damage. So now that my fire strike is off cooldown, I'm going to get him with it. And he'll either die from the fire or from the fall damage of falling off the platform. In the bear trial at this shrine, you try to kill enemies using fall damage, but I personally found this wolf trial to be much easier because no one's attacking you <laughs> with melee, so you can take your time. And that is the last enemy. And I succeeded to kill all the enemies using indirect kills, which is going to earn me a gold medal. And of course, when you get a gold medal, you complete the challenge that rewards you with Scaldi's Blade. So after you get the gold medal, go to Ubisoft Connect and claim your reward. Scaldi's Blade, the legendary Dane Axe. Good luck. Hope this helped. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.